In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to implement FSR4 using a program called OptiScaler. And this is compatible with any NVIDIA card 2000 series and higher. And technically, this will work on a 10 series card as it has the INT8 instruction set. However, those are Pascal chips, which will likely not be worth it performance wise on those cards. And in order to get this to work, we're going to be using a very powerful program called OptiScaler, as well as a custom DLL file that was leaked by AMD that will allow FSR4 implementation through the INT8 instruction set in order to achieve FSR4's machine learning upscaling techniques. And for those of you that don't know what OptiScaler does or how it works, what OptiScaler does is it uses the inputs from a different upscaling technique in order to give you multiple different types of upscaling techniques. So scrolling down here, we can essentially use these inputs in order to output one of these. So in game, we'll be using the DLSS input within the game settings in order to output the Fidelity FX Super Resolution 4, also known as FSR4. It also gives us the option to use XESS from Intel or even use newer versions of DLSS as well. So this is a pretty advanced program. You can also use it to inject frame generation, which is pretty cool. We're not going to be checking that out today, but for games that don't have frame generation, this is another amazing option to check out to try to get a little extra performance out of your system. Now, a few things to keep in mind before we proceed. Do not use this in any multiplayer games with any kind of anti-cheat system. You will get banned almost immediately. Next thing to keep in mind is there are some technical limitations. The biggest one being that it only works right now using DirectX 12 Compute shaders. It does not currently work on Vulkan. However, I have heard some reports that it does work with Vulkan within Linux. However, I do not have a Linux system and I am familiar with Linux, but I haven't used it in years. And the last thing to keep in mind is there is a little bit of a performance impact when using FSR4. However, from some of my tests that in some games, it is superior to DLSS. So first things first, we're gonna to wanna to head over to the OptiScaler GitHub page. Now, I'm gonna put that in the description below so you can get to it quickly. But scrolling down here gives you all the information and there are builds that are hosted on the GitHub, and these are the stable releases. However, today I will be using a test build, which is gonna be located in their Discord page. So here's your Discord link right here. So here on the Discord page, you'll wanna scroll down here to the Opti test builds. And if we go to that link here, it's gonna bring you to the 0.9.0 pre five test build and the latest one is this one here as of making this video the november 6th pre-test build gonna take you to a link where you can download that file here hit continue i'm just gonna put this in my utilities folder that i use on my c drive you can pretty much place it wherever you'd like so here's that file here the optiscaler 0.9.0 pre-build I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And when you open it, it's gonna give you a folder that looks like this. Now, this is pretty simple. Just any game that we want to install this to, we're just gonna drag and drop all these files to the root directory of that game. So, in this example, I'm gonna be testing out Stellar Blade, and then later on, we're gonna be testing out Oblivion Remaster. So these are two Steam games that I have on my system. And you're gonna to wanna to go to Program Files, or Steam that is, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then here's Stellar Blade. So here we are on the root directory of Stellar Blade. Now we don't wanna put those files in this directory. We wanna find where the actual application is. And you can see how small this file is. This is just a shortcut to the game. We want to go and actually find the real exe file and in this case it's in kind of a weird location normally you would probably actually go under engine binaries but in this case we're going to want to go under this sb folder and then binaries and then win64 
And then here is the exe file. You can see how much bigger it is. That is the actual exe file for the game, not just the shortcut. So we know that this is the correct folder location where we want to drag and drop those files. So I'm going to go ahead and do so right here. Go ahead and drag and drop these files, all the OptiScaler files. If it asks you to replace any files in the destination, go ahead and do so. And the next thing we want to do, we want to run this setup windows bat that came with those files. This is just to run OptiScaler. I'm going to say choose the file name for OptiScaler. Just use option one. Are you using NVIDIA or AMD? NVIDIA for two. And then that's it for the installation of that. Now, this is not the only thing we want to do if we want to get FSR4 to work. So once we have OptiScaler installed, we're not done just yet. We do need to replace this AMD Fidelity Upscaler DX12 DLL file with the custom FSR4 leaked DLL. Now, I can't host the files myself due to copyright reasons. However, if you search in Google the phrase FSR SDK leak contained FSR4 files, the top result is the Reddit thread where the community has archived the leak as well as the modified DLL file that you will need. So once you've downloaded that file, you can go ahead and put it in any folder on your computer. In my case, I've just made a folder here in my utilities called FSR4 INT8. And that's the modified version that we need to replace. So we're going to go ahead and copy it and then go back to our Stellar Blade folder where we have already installed OptiScaler and paste it. We're going to replace the file in the destination. And now we should be ready to launch this. Now you can launch it directly from here, which is what I'm going to do. Or you can launch it from Steam. It really doesn't matter either way. I'm just going to launch it from this exe file. And in the bottom left, you can see that OptiScaler has been installed. Get the little overlay there. All right, so here in game, I've got my own custom overlay set up in the top left corner. Got all of my statistics and everything. Now I am running a 5090, but like I said, this will work with anything 2000 and newer. Now, if I go into my settings here, we want to make sure that this is set over DLSS as it's using the DLSS input in game in order to get this to work and specifically DLSS quality. So right now it's set at DLSS four and right now it's DLSS automatic. We want to change that to quality. So now we've got those inputs set up and I do have frame generation here. I'm going to turn that off for now just for the sake of testing. And let's go back in game and see what kind of performance we're at right now. So about 204 at 4K. Now, in order to get OptiScaler settings to come up, we have to hit insert on our keyboard. So I'm going to hit insert here. And it's going to bring up a menu like this. And there's a little scalar thing here. I'm just going to make this bigger so that you guys can see all the settings. Go with actually 1.7. So right now, this is set up as our upscaler as DLSS. And this is where we can change that to be FSR 3.0. And if we do that, it's going to take a while from what I noticed. I don't know why, but the first time that you try to activate FSR 4, it can take anywhere from two minutes to five minutes for it to finally kick in. But once it's done it for the first time, we can switch back and forth between different inputs and we don't have to wait for it to activate the second time. I'm not like I said, I'm not really sure why that happens, but your game is going to look like it's essentially crashed. But just give it a little bit of time. It will eventually load. So I'm going to cut the video and come back once it's loaded back in here. All right, so that only took like a minute to, for it to kick in, but you can see here that the FSR4 upscaler is FSR4.0.2. And we can change to the other ones as well. There's FSR3, FSR2, but FSR4.0.2 is far superior. Now, just to show you guys what I mean. So if I go into this menu here, you can see her hair right here, right? If I change this back to FSR3 and then go and change our upscaler, there is all kinds of flickering and kind of weird artifact going on with her hair. 
And then same thing, if I actually change this to DLSS, kind of have the same almost shimmering effect. Like it's a little better with DLSS, but you still have that shimmering effect. And we can even change the override here and even try like the latest preset with DLSS. And it still doesn't change a whole lot. We can even try to go to preset K, which is known to be the transformer model. And same thing, you still kind of have that weird look. However, if we go to FSR 3X, change our upscaler, and then right here in the FFX upscaler, we change this to the 4.0.2 DLL, change it. You can see that her hair has dramatically improved with this upscaling technique. And we can even take this a little further just to make sure this is working. Specifically with FSR4, we can use the watermark. So this option here, this will add a watermark in the top left corner of your game. You have to hit save INI and then reboot. So I'm going to do that real quick here. I'm just going to reboot and so we can see those stats. All right, so I just reloaded back into the game and got that upscaler working. And you can see in the top left corner, it says MLSR upscale V7 I8. Now, what this means is that the mach it says machine learning super resolution upscaling. And then it's telling me what version it is, telling me the build time is September 12th, 2025. That's the DLL file. So we've essentially confirmed that FSR4 is indeed working with this game now like i said earlier i was getting around like about i think 200 fps with like dlss so you can definitely see there's a small performance hit but that is just because we are running this on a graphics card that is not rdna 4 compatible it's using that int8 in order to get this to work but you can see that it looks absolutely awesome And then another thing to keep in mind, I might do another video on this as well. But with these test builds, you have additional versions of frame generation that you can test. So you can even use the FSR3 frame generation, DLSS G Streamline, Nukem's DLSS G, Optiscaler's frame generation, as well as the 3.0 variant of FSR's frame generation. So I'll probably do a full rundown on how to use this Optiscaler program in another video because it is quite a powerful program. But for the sake of testing today, we are just trying to get FSR4 to work, which we have achieved beautifully in Stellar Blade. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and test out Oblivion Remaster. Now I actually have this on a different drive that I use for like modding. It's just a separate Steam library that I use on my E drive. So same thing here, Steam library, Steam apps, and then common. And then here's Oblivion Remastered. And then in this case, again, you don't wanna dump the files here. This is just a shortcut to the application. We wanna find the actual EXE file. And in this case, we wanna to go to this Oblivion Remastered folder, and then binaries, and then Win64, and then here is the Oblivion Remastered Win64 Shipping EXE, and we can tell it's the right one because of its size here. So, same thing here. Let's go back to our Optiscaler zip file, or 7-zip file, I should say, and dump all of these files into this folder here. Place the files in the destination. And then run our setup, Windows Bat. And then press 1, same thing, 2 for NVIDIA. So now Optiscaler is installed. And then we want to go ahead like we were doing prior and replace that one file. So let's go find that file, the FSR4 DLL. Same thing here, we're just going to copy it into this folder, paste. Place file in the destination. And one thing I forgot to mention earlier is if you do want to uninstall Optiscaler, it's pretty simple. We can go ahead and find this bat file right here. It just says remove optiscaler.bat. 
and run that and you just literally just say yes and it'll clean up all the files for you and then OptiScaler is uninstalled and that's just in case you run into a situation where the game's crashing or it's not working with OptiScaler because that's another thing I should mention is this doesn't work with all games there are a few games where I just could not get it to work like Red Redemption 2 for example I don't know what it was about that game but I could not get this to work in Red Dead Redemption 2 if you guys have any tips and tricks on how to get Red Dead to work let me know so anyway back to testing out Oblivion Remastered I'm going to do the same thing here just to launch it from this exe file you can still launch it from Steam as well it doesn't matter and you can see it's installed down here OptiScaler all right, and same thing, first thing, we wanna make sure that it is using the DLSS input. Let's go to our settings here. Display. Go down to our upscaling technique. Okay, so we're already set up here, DLSS and quality is what they recommend. So DLSS and quality, so we should be good to go. Go ahead and hit apply here. Then same thing, hit insert. And there's your OptiScaler settings. Let me increase this window so you guys can see it. And I'm going to change this to FSR 3.1. And this should do the same thing. Oh, wow. Actually, it kicked in immediately. When I was doing my testing earlier, it did the same thing where it would take like a couple minutes for it to kick in. But this kicked in immediately with FSR 4.0.2. So go ahead and go into game real quick. All right, so here we are in game. This is a pretty early save. But let's just focus on something like this rock face here. And in this game, it's not as noticeable as it was in Stellar Blade, like with her hair and everything. But if we go to, for example, like the inventory and we look at our character here and then go ahead and hit insert on your keyboard to bring up our OptiScaler settings. We can go ahead and look at kind of the difference between DLSS and FSR. So if I change this to DLSS, specifically same kind of thing. You can notice like some of the fur and like his beard and whatnot has changed just a little bit. And the FSR 4 implementation definitely looks the best. So if we change this back to FSR 3.x, then make sure it's on FSR 4.0.2. You can see that this looks much more full and even some of the fur on our character's assets looks much, much better, including the chain mail and everything. So if I change this specifically to the old version of FSR, FSR 3, change the upscaler, you can see almost a little bit of blurring going on. And honestly, it's not too bad in this game. But it does work. That's the key thing here is the FSR 4 upscaler does work in this game. All right, so here we are back in game and I just got that watermark to work so we can confirm that FSR 4 is indeed working. It says machine learning super resolution upscaler B7I8 is up and running. And you can tell, I mean, this looks honestly awesome. It really does looks really good however you can tell also that we're only getting about 60 fps right now with a 5090 and a 9800 x3d at 4k so that is one of the problems right now with using this especially on an nvidia card is you are going to see a little bit of a performance impact and actually let's do really a quick test to see what our performance is difference will be if we use DLSS. So let's go change this to our DLSS upscaler instead. And yeah, as I thought, so you can see we jumped up like 8 FPS. So nothing too crazy, but it does seem to be a better upscaler for the time being, especially that machine learning FSR4 upscaler. I mean, it just looks honestly awesome. And like I said, I'm going to be doing a separate video in the future on all of the frame generation techniques of OptiScaler, as well as just doing a full tutorial guide on all of the different settings and whatnot. So stay tuned for that video. I'm going to be doing some additional PC performance tests and guides in the future. So if that kind of content interests you, consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, have a wonderful day.